How are you guys doing? My name is RJ with my co-host Jay Weston from the Anime Plus. We're about to do a episode two review of Police Dousing Your Blood War. Yeah, let's get it. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, episode two starts off where episode one left off, right? Obviously. Honestly, I feel like in anime, they really don't do that too much, you know? Like, true. Right? <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes they do that or sometimes they go in and they kind of just replay like one to two seconds. Oh, old school anime Before, recap. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. only because it came on Saturday mornings and they're trying to get you to oh, watch man. it. Yeah. It does feel like we're kind of like in my in my kid stage again. Yeah. Instead of like the Saturday, now I have Monday, please, Tuesday, James, oh man. Yeah. All week long, it's a new episode. I know. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like yeah. it. I like, I like it. it too. So <clears throat> pretty much it starts off with the, um, the Quincy King um, yeah. killing. Well, not killing. He cut off the... Um, one of the Quincy's arms, just do like he said earlier. Uh, he's super contradictory. He's like, "There's no violence in my presence," but then proceeds to cut off the dude's arm <laughs> for peace, for peace, <laughs> for science, <laughs> for science. Kills the dude, right? Then he kills the Iran car, which it is an Iran car. They okay. turn the Iran car to an Iran car with Quincy powers. Quincy powers, yeah. No, that was my confusion. That's where he came in and like he corrected me on that. Yeah, you know, it's. I mean. It was always confusing. I, I feel like Bleach had a lot of like plot holes in it, but we ignored it because it was cool. Yeah, because it was they go from uh, I think they're in Waco Mundo. That area there, they're probably in a different area of Waco Mundo to me. For what? You know where the Quincy King was sitting on the throne or whatever chair. Oh, is? I think um, you're gonna learn that they invaded Waco Mundo later on. Yeah, yeah. Udahada came to the to Ichigo's room. Literally, like maybe like mid midway into the episode, actually. But they invaded Soul Society. They invaded um, the Living World, obviously Waco Mundo. So they invaded all three and declared they're all they're, yeah. They're all like yeah, they're everywhere. You yeah. know, these are stern readers because that's what they are called in the episode. Stern readers. Stern readers. We have a call to yeah, the yeah. to the soul uh, mm -hmm. to the soul reaper saying of what happened yeah. in uh, Soul Society where uh, a whole bunch of people died. Mm -hmm. uh, they went through the gate. Almost 300 people died. Didn't which I don't, yeah, true. I don't even remember which one was the gate, but we do know that the first uh, first squad lieutenant died. It, it's something kind of big because he's been with, um, with the first squad leader. Yamato. Yamato, thank you. For a long, long time. Yeah, I think he's one of the oldest lieutenants, to be honest. Yep, and then we see once we, uh, once that happened, Ichigo goes in, goes out, and then now comes out. A very, which pleasant, is very it was a funny, <laughs> funny scene, funny scene. Because she comes out of uh, of uh, Garganta. Garganta. Uh, and is um, Garganta? Uh, is I, that's a, I, I don't remember if the Garganta is a pathway yeah. or is when they open up and yeah. they kind of come out. Let's just say that for now. You, you, guys can, you guys can correct us in the comments. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so, so she yeah. goes, comes out, looks at Ichigo, and then she's falling to Ichigo to get super acceleration. Yeah, which is like <laughs> to totally comedy moment because you know she didn't have to. <laughs> she didn't, didn't have, didn't have to. to. She could have just fell. You know, same thing with uh, what, the other dude named the school guy. Yeah, yeah, that guy. I don't remember his name. Yeah, yeah comment below <laughs> which his name you guys remember. After that, uh, she just says that Welcome Mundo was invaded. Exactly. We we'll clip back on yeah. that. Yeah, we'll, we'll clip back. We'll put some clips in there. Yeah, and then now we know that uh, Mary Bell present. Holly Bell, Holly Bell, sorry. The president of Waco Mundo, Queen? They say King, but you know, we Queen, know yes, is. number three. Uh, the King of Quincy's has her captured. Yeah, yeah, crazy because she do what? We don't know yet. Yeah, I mean, you assume that she's that he's gonna turn her into like the Quincy version of the Ron Car, okay, with the powers. So I don't know. Yeah, we, I mean, at this point, you would assume as a viewer that he can imbue power to like. He's a Ron Carr yep. at this point because that at the like at the first scene of the episode two, like he killed that Ron Carr and one of the Quincy's that's in the cloaks was like, Are you sure you wanna do that? And then the Quincy King said, No, I can just make another one, it's fine. And uh, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but do you guys saw that his throne, yeah. his like throne uh seat yeah. kinda started disappearing the oh, Reishi of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. as we said. Reishi. And it started going into his steps. So He's manipulation on races. Phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah. Then we go with Nell. Nell tells what happened to Weapon Mundo. Urahara comes out, Urahara. right? Ooh, the swaggiest. Out of freaking nowhere, really. Swaggiest. It's like, where have you been this whole time? Oh, I was outside the door. 
<laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm like, okay. are you are you joking, dude? And then you know, um, <laughs> they go to work on Mundo. Yes, through <laughs> the garganta, garganta, which means through the throats mm -hmm. in Espanol. Espanol. Then we go into work on Mundo, and then we see that one of his, uh, I want to say, lieutenants. Mm -hmm. Um, has a whole oh, bunch yeah. of an equivalent of a lieutenant. Right, that's cool. Yeah, uh, has or a captain. Arancas, um, all lined up, and they're like, it's very. It, everything seems to be very contradictory. Yeah. Because it says, okay, uh, we're gonna give you the opportunity to join us, and then it's like, okay, I want to join, and then they just stab him. But like the Quincy's in the back, we're having a conversation. They're like, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, intend on uh, saving anybody or you know sparing anybody. They're like, nope. And then he's just killing them all. The Stern Raiders, the Quincy's are all German based, you know? Just like how Wakamundo was all Spanish based. Exactly. Shinigamis and all like this stuff are Japanese, Japanese based. Yeah. So if you guys see with this, how this trend goes with uh, Bleach, um, you have different uh, culture like said, culture based. Yeah. You know? Actually, not, yeah. not really, not really culture, more like uh, Japanese, the, words, the culture for Shinigamis, yeah. Spanish, the words, uh, well, the words, the words, more just like the words. words. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about like the it. words. Later on, no. there's another thing that comes in. But no, like, spoiler, uh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Two of the uh, Arancas that were with Aizen. Yeah, Aizen, the Aizen bodyguards. Aizen. Yeah. So they're trying to go in to try to get this guy. <laughs> he just annihilates them yeah. like pretty, pretty easy. Exactly. And then. Las Tres Bestias. Uh, the one who's super bulky, the one that's like, more like a serpent. Yeah. And then the other one. I just cool. I think the they're one. very cool the way they entered. They entered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right? They just came in slicing everybody. What's crazy is that Bleach is like not shying away from blood at all. They're it's really, really going not. in. They're really going in with the gore and the, um, the yeah. violence. It's not Chainsaw Man level gore. But, true, but true. they're not shying away from like... TV 14. <laughs> to me, I always thought like, why? In Bleach, like they have swords, sharp ass swords, but you never see anybody get their arm ripped off, really. You never see anybody get their head chopped off. I mean, it is kind of a kid's show, sort of, but now it's like, it's like yeah, give and take. It's for kids, it's for us. That's what Bleach is for. True. Your True. Art is for us. I am more than 14. Yeah, me too. I'm like double that. So they go in, they start attacking, they try to, they, they, they try to get the lieutenant guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he seems to be pretty powerful because he, bobbing and weaving. yeah, he was, uh, he got him pretty too quick, pretty good. And at the end, you we see, be quicker than that. you got to be quicker than that. Be quicker than that. <laughs> and then we go in and then we see Ichigo on yeah. the scene and that's where the episode comes. Out. Yeah. And his face was just like, oh crap. Yeah. I, I feel like this is going to be the, the toughest thing Ichigo is ever going to have to do. Is that for your new challenge? Like he fought like Aizen, he's fought um, a lot of the Aran cars of different numbers mm -hmm. and all the captains. But these guys are pretty much all captain levels. Mainly. I did not know that. They are. Because if you mm. if you if you take down the lieutenant of the, the lieutenants, yeah. That no, that one specific lieutenant that died in the episode. Mm, that is true. Captain y Yam Yamato's uh, lieutenant. Yeah. He's as powerful as all the captains, to be honest. He's just a lieutenant he just because he's the first choice. squad. By choice, he could have been a captain already. Mm. Right? If all of them are captain based, then uh, you guys are definitely going to have a tough time. Yeah. And I'm super excited to see you as yeah. well. And another thing that we didn't talk about in the first review is that they tried to take his Bankai and they failed. They right? did. They did, though. And, and that's so show that yeah, that he used it. He used their tool, but it, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that the Quincy King commented on that and told the Arankar before he killed him. He was like, you kept Ichigo at bay, you know, or you didn't succeed or you didn't fail. fail. So I was just like, okay, you didn't fail. Your so he, job is done. So you're, he's, I think to me, I'm thinking like, oh yeah, he's, he tried to test Ichigo yeah, to yeah. see if he could actually take his Bankai. He couldn't. So that's something. That's like a and then he killed foreshadowing, him. foreshadowing. Then he killed him. Because he, just, saying, because he doesn't care about the wrong cars. He only cares about... He's just freaking, mm -hmm. freaking just fucking too. Yeah. You he fight too hard. He frees it. He frees <laughs> it. But um, overall, the episode was really good. Yes. I'm very excited to... Is it freaking Monday yet? Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Episode is always beautiful. Oh, like the, the, the cinematography and stuff. the music and the placement, camera angles, the composition is great, you know? And you can tell that uh, Tite Kubo... He had a lot of influence. <laughs> he had a lot of influence on it. And he's a great artist, you know, and uh, he knows a lot about art. 
and you can tell because a lot of those scenes match the manga panels. I think that was cool. I didn't really notice that at all because I didn't care because he doesn't read. But my man here, pretty pretty good perspective, eyes and ears. In conclusion, in the, <laughs> inclusion, in conclusion, in conclusion. Uh, great episode, great exposure. Yeah. Um, a lot of contradictories with the Quincy King. Yeah. I'm excited to see where his motivations, stuff like that. I'm trying not to talk to this guy. I know. And I'm not trying to watch any of the mangas or anything like that. So I'm trying to stay away from Facebook as much as possible because I they know just, too much. They know too much. I know too much. Exactly. It's such spoiler and everything. So I just try to stay away, at least for the first three days after the episode drops. I mean, yeah. I like this episode a lot of it's dialogue heavy, of course, because it has to explain what happened in the first episode. The first episode was go, 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 fight scene, um, uh, surprise, my, my Bankai is getting taken, you can take Bankai's, you know, they're trying to explain why and who these people are, you know, so I get it, you know, just like Chainsaw Man episode one, how that was a lot of dialogue and backstory, this is kind of like that equivalent, you know, I'll give it a seven, My it's a seven for this episode for me, seven, eight. Eight, because I like bleach. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Bias. <laughs> Seven. Seven? Okay, yeah. Seven okay. is fine. Yeah, we'll we even it out. Okay, come on, just try. All right, guys. Uh, so this has been our review for Bleach Thousand Year Blow Art, episode two. I hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys like this episode. We love Bleach, and we want it to do really, really well. Um, comment, subscribe, like, share this post. We love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Cue the outro.